Father are still here. My dad too, and my brother, though I can't imagine why. Elliot, Crow. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. That our performance today never would have been possible without the two of you guiding it along. I wanted to make sure that you knew how much I appreciate you doing that. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Aw, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Huh? You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Elliot. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? Elliot, my boy! Your father's arms are ready and waiting for you to leap into them! Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, later. <sighs> this year's festival's been a blast. I'm kind of hoping we can do the same thing next year, too. Though, who knows if Class 7 is even going to exist next year. Hmm. Crow? Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but Class 7 is basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so who knows? I guess that has its pluses and its minuses, but no matter what, it's not going to be the same. We won't have you. If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in Class 7 till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. Now that you mention it? Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. <laughs> you better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate, am I? I mean, we've spent so much time together that treating you like a proper adult just wouldn't feel right. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Isn't this... completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving Elise? Helping with the concert? Compared to all that, 50 Mira is nothing. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it.
Oh, by the way, you know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear, the things I do for love. Alright, alright, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet, like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> no need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Allow me, Sharon, before every red-blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> It would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? <laughs> of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? Ooh, he's just my type, too. Hmm? Oh, just talking to myself. Well, I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon. But I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> In some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. <laughs> Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? <laughs> I knew it! So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really. Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. Such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. Your Highness? The 
generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly. Emma? Oh, Reen. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Oh, well, I wanted to get away from all the excitement for a little while. How's your sister? She's just fine. Actually, she was the one who encouraged me to see you. This might not be the right time since you're trying to rest, but would you dance with me? What? Me? I, I couldn't possibly. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people you'd rather dance with, or who are better dancers. Definitely not, but... Should I take that as a no? <laughs> you should take it as an I'd love to. Whew. That's a relief. Shall we? <laughs> Everyone's still having fun. <laughs> it makes sense. This festival's practically the culmination of everything we've done since the start of the year. I'm sure everyone has plenty of things they want to talk about with each other. You're probably right. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but keep secrets from all of you since we first met. You don't need to apologize for that. It's not like you were doing it to hurt or trick us or anything. Of course not. I still feel so guilty about having to do it. Even though we've spent so much time together, I feel like I'm not really one of you. That I don't belong here. That's not true. You do belong here. You're an important part of our class and every one of us cares about you. Really? Everybody has their secrets. You don't need to share every little detail of your life for someone to understand you. But if you ever feel like your secrets are too heavy to handle alone, always willing to listen. It doesn't matter what it is. We'll be there, ready to accept it. And whatever it might mean about you. Reen, I'm sure that someday I'll be able to tell you the truth. So, will you be willing to hold on until then? No matter how long it takes. Hmm. Thank you. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. Reen? Elise? Claire? Good evening, Captain. You must be exhausted. <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumnus. Wait, what? You're a student here? That's right. I was part of the Academy's 216th graduating class. And since you'll be part of its 221st, I suppose that makes me five years your senior. I, I had no idea. Why didn't you mention it until just now? Given that we only ever met while you were on your field studies, it didn't seem pertinent. Besides, once people graduate, they tend to leave their ties to their school behind. Especially here at Thor's. Because it's a military academy? Exactly. Roughly 40% of the graduates here go on to join the military. Not always the same branch or even the same army. About 30% join the Imperial Army, and 10% go to a provincial force. Students who are best friends one day might find themselves enemies the next. Reen. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to kill your happy mood like this. But I'm sure you're well aware of what may lie ahead, that we're teetering on the brink of an era of upheaval. I'm aware. Um, does this have something to do with the issues in Crossbell I've been hearing about? Yes, amongst other things. It seems as though everyone on the continent is ready to go to war with everyone else. But that's why it's so important that we're able to stand strong no matter what happens. Though, judging by how well Class 7 has performed on their field studies, I'm sure you'll all be fine in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> Here's hoping that I get the chance to help you out again sometime. Even if I'll have to be careful not to draw the ire of that instructor of yours while I'm doing so. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that you have her back. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite well... Please, excuse me a moment. Yes, Revelt speaking. Mm-hmm. What? What's going on? And you're certain of this? Understood. I'll return at once. Yes. I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. My brothers requested that we return to Heimdall right away, but as we're going back by car, I thought I'd offer you a ride home. But, but... Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, alright. Sorry to drop this on you so quickly, Reen. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill you in shortly. Fill me in? On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. We'll be sure to get Elise back to the Academy safely. Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen Father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with him. One thing is certain. Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Neidhart, though. Hold on. Neidhart's supposed to be... He was at Gorelia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial Government that this evening, Gorelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. No, destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. I would ask that all of our guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. 